Hi everybody, this is Mirab and today I'm going to teach you how to add a course to Guru. So let's take a look first on the front end and you can see that the course is this is how it looks like on the front end and now if you want to add a course we're going to do it on the back end. So on the Guru C panel you go to courses and you can see a list of all your courses. Now if you want to start a new one you click on new and you start filling out all those fields for example let's call it uh, social media and we're going to choose a parent category and we're going to enter some description and you can choose the teacher here I'm going to choose myself as a teacher and here on the image you can simply upload an image for your course so let's choose a file. Here we go. You can see it uploaded it for you automatically. Here you can choose if you want to add any exercise files, for example, PDFs or anything you want to uh, enrich the the course. You can add them right here. And the way you do it is you click Add Exercise File, and you choose one of the uh, files that already exist in the library. So you have to first edit in the media library. Okay, go to Media Library, add a new file, and you will see it here. The Pricing and Plans tab, you can enter uh, the pricing for each of the subscription plans, and you can choose which subscription plans are available for this course. For example, if I want to have one month, three months, and six months subscription plans, I would check those boxes and enter the price right here. And I'm going to also choose which one of those plans is the default plan, which is which means it's going to be selected by default on the front end. Now, if I want to also allow them to um, to uh, renew their subscription, for example, if I want to give them a discount if they renew it, so I can choose uh, the renewal plans here. So let's say I want to allow them to renew for one month and three months. I'm going to choose the default again. Once again, I'm going to enter the price. Usually, it would be a different. Uh, more discounted price if they already paid for it. Here at the bottom you can choose the email reminders that will be sent to them once the subscription is about to expire or it has expired already. So select which ones you want to send and by the way you can edit those email reminders here and you can edit the plans here on the left under subscriptions. Here you can choose if this course is published or not, the meta tags of this course, and what requirements you want to have for this course. You can enter different books or different miscellaneous or other, or other prerequisites, and you can also choose a course that will be a prerequisite for this particular course. And that's what's going to show on the front end. Now let's take a look at a course that already exists on the front end and we can see how this all um, goes together. We didn't talk about the table of contents yet, but we did cover where you enter the description, the pricing, this is right here, the exercise files, the teacher that we have chosen already, and the requirements. Now, once you save the course, you click save, you will see it here. Now, this is very important. You have to first publish it if you're ready. But what you really need to do is you need to start creating the table of contents, which is this thing over here. This is the tree of your content. This is the most important thing you can do, you need to do for the course. So it starts as a blank slate, and you need to start adding a module, at least one module. For example, what is social? media and then you can click save you can enter any uh, you can choose any media or text that are available to show inside the module and you can choose the access level who can see this module is it just students who bought the course is it members of the site or is it guest meaning anybody and then you click save now you will see this module right here and now you can start adding lessons to this module. 
But let's add another module, at least one more. Let's say getting started and click save. Now you will see this module here as well. Now you st what you start doing now, once you finish adding all the modules, you start adding the lessons one by one. And for that, you're going to see a different video tutorial. I'm, I'm not going to get into it right now, but there's another video tutorial to how to add a course, uh, how to add a lesson to your course. So please uh, view that. And this is it about how to add a course to Guru.